What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to flash the Oxygen OS latest ROMs on this device. And here from this Telegram group, as you can see, this is the OnePlus 7's Oxygen OS for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And I'll link this group in the description box below, so do not worry. And this is the like latest version 10.3 Corinth V3 or V Cube version. We have the bugs listed over here that don't use 4K video recording and stuff. And then Wi-Fi display problem is there. Dolby sound engine problem is there. And not all the Gcams are working. And SD card can't be used as internal or adaptive storage. Those are all the bugs. And right now the IR Blaster face unlock etc bugs has been fixed. Over here it's shown. And we have the latest PORCF kernel and double tap to wake enabler gesture settings is there. So that's great. Wi-Fi speed has been optimized too. Here it's listed. So those are the really great things which I'm noticing over here. Well, there are two versions. One is the OnePlus 6 and one is of this OnePlus 7 Pros. So this is the latest one. I'm going to be flashing the OnePlus 7 Pros, but you can also install the OnePlus 6's Oxygen OS on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. I'll link that in the description too. And here we have the like download links and we have the flashing procedure and stuff. Here it says remove your Google account and stuff. I'm not gonna do those. And I have already downloaded the ROM of course. So let's just straight up boot into the recovery. Well, I will use the latest Orange Fox recovery here. So here, as you can see, we have successfully booted into the Orange Fox recovery. And if you want to see the version, let me show you. This is the version 10.1 underscore two version. And first thing you need to do is just go to wipe. And before wiping anything, let me tell you, you need to have a decrypted storage. And if you do not know what I'm talking about, if you're coming from MIUI, just once format the storage. To format with this Orange Fox recovery, you have to go to menu, then manage partition and select the data partition. Click right from here and then tap on this format data. You will have the formatted storage or the decrypted storage. And then like if you're coming from any other custom ROM, just go to wipe then like wipe cache, Dalvik system and data. These four things and just swipe to wipe. Now before doing anything like this, make sure you have a backup of your whole like files and stuff if in case anything goes wrong. Now let's go in my download folder. Well, there are two versions as you can see OnePlus 6s and the OnePlus 7 Pro's Oxygen OS. I'm gonna flash the OnePlus 7 Pro's Oxygen OS. So I'm gonna select this and reboot after installation is completely selected. I don't need any FCRIP disabler or something for the Redmi Note 5 Pro, I think. So I'm just gonna flash this file. We don't need any GApp separately because this ROM file includes everything. Now you just have to wait for the time being after you have swiped to confirm flash. So it did take about five minutes to flash. So right now the flashing is done. So it's just rebooting the device. We have the OnePlus splash image or the boot animation kind of like the before boot animation we have this oneplus kind of splash image and as you can see it has this powered by android and this oneplus is boot animation really looks nice okay so it's not just like booting into the system i have been stuck in like the boot animation for 10 plus minutes i'll just force reboot once and see if it actually boots so i'll just tap and hold the power button so that the device just force reboots. As you can see, it just shows me the splash screen again. So yes, we have finally booted into the system. And if you're like flashing this ROM, make sure once to like force reboot because on the first boot, it won't boot actually to the system. You have to force reboot once if you want to get into the system, of course. Now let me set up the ROM quickly. The touch is not working so I'm just like trying to okay right now the touch is working and it's responsive so right now I'm gonna set up the fingerprint scanner let's try so as you can see it is working right now like for this setup actually it is asking me to set the screen calibration the options are vivid natural and advanced I'm gonna leave it on vivid then we have the font selection Roboto or OnePlus Slate. I'm gonna go with the default Roboto one. 
then we have the like recents or home and the navigation gestures i'm gonna go with the android 10 navigation gestures let's start going back done going home done and recents done so here we are greeted to the home screen let me just increase the brightness to the fullest and let's just put the iso down so that you guys can see better so right now let's just go into the settings and here as you can see the settings already feels really smooth every animation almost like feels quite smooth i would say first impressions the rom feels great and here let's try the stock camera quickly so the stock camera actually works we have the 1x and 2x zoom mode let's try to take a picture and it did work let's see the information here so the picture seems quite nice the resolution is 3000 by 4000 so 12 megapixel that's great that the like sensor is working actually and in the video mode let's go we have the 1080 and 720p option of course there is that 4k bug mentioned in the bug list and here you can scroll up to like zoom and stuff i guess okay so here we have the slow motion and stuff then if you want to go to the settings you can go to the settings like this and you have the one plus like icon you can have the like watermark like this if you need that so that's great that on the redmi note 5 pro you can get a one plus watermark and the stock launcher already feels pretty smooth to the left we have this like downloading option of the cricket score and stuff you can disable them i guess from here as you can see we have the like card selection like customization here and to the settings of this launcher let me go and here we also have this home screen layout and stuff then the drawer and double tap to lock the screen is there let me just lock the screen and it did work let's unlock the device and as you can see with the live wallpapers even the wallpaper is actually like live as you can see and whenever like i unlock it does this really cool animation if you're noticing looks really cool and the figment scanner unlocking speed is just great i have no complaints already let me go into the settings and in the about section we have this kind of like fake about section because it's let's just snapdragon 855 which is not really true and here we have the storage and stuff and it says fluid amoled display which is not true and the device name already shows as oneplus 7 pro again that's not true let me put the phone into silent of course we cannot do that from here i guess as you can see we have this like expanding option of the volume panel and the animations looks quite cool although it feels a little bit choppy but that's like almost not noticeable i don't know how to put the phone into silent let me check okay so we have this indianet sound tile so i can put the phone into silent from here as you can see or i can put the phone into vibrate or general from here so that's great but if you have root you can have it on the like toggle or something so yeah you can put the phone into silent just from here like this now let's just remove it and let's go into the settings we have the let me go back we have the utilities of course we have the quick launch option as you can see a lot of customizations are there then we have the parallel apps if you need that app locker is there if you would like to use that schedule power on and off then oneplus laboratory is there and quick reply in landscape is there let's go into the system and here we have the otg storage option and ram boost option and the system updater option i think that is like not really working because it is not supposed to work of course and in the settings of the battery we have the battery saver mode and battery optimization and stuff then you can like see the full usage from here so that's cool i don't have a sim card on this device yet so i cannot confirm the volty but the volty should work fine and the buttons and gestures are there we have the alert slider over here the note 5 pro does not actually have the alert slider so this is not really useful in the navigation gestures we have it selected to like navigation gesture of android 10 or the oxygen os and that is working fine going back and stuff works fine quick gestures option is there three finger skin shot gesture it does work as you can see and raise to answer is there double tap to wake is there let's like check the double tap to wake and yeah it did work let's go back from here we have the quick activate assistant 
and we have the long press to take a photo and stuff so in the sound settings we have the ring and alarm dolby atmos option is there but i am not gonna quite recommend you using that because i'm not sure if it actually works i think it was mentioned that it is not working we have the earphone mode for some things and we have the phone ringtone and vibration option then system sounds options are there we have the touch vibration you can disable it from here now let me go back to the customization section and here we have the wallpapers then clock style and the horizon light or the like the edge lighting option kind of and we have the present theme control we have the vibrant tints illuminating light and this nuanced dark option and we have the wallpapers over here if you select these you can have multiple options like these i think all of these are the live wallpapers and they like will look pretty cool if you select those so yeah i think these are the live wallpapers i guess of one plus seven so they look like quite cool let me try this let's go to the home so yeah as you can see it was actually working looks quite cool now let's go over here we have the clock style as you can see of the ambient display and then we have the buttons and stuff and you can change the colors of this as you can see we have the like accent color changing option from here and you can have like in-depth customization of the accent colors and we have the toning you can like select the theme as dark as you can see if i select right okay all right so it did take a little bit of time to apply but right now as you can see the whole ui feels dark let me go back everything like seems to be dark over here so the customization panel over here is like really really helpful i would say it does take a little bit of time to apply but when it does that's pretty great and we have these many like edge lighting or horizon light over here which is by one plus is oxygen os and there are more like shape and the icon packs and this never settle fonts and stuff we have the like roboto and one plus slate font over here the customization panel looks really good adaptive brightness or auto brightness is there i'm not sure if it actually works so yeah it does work it seems like sleep mode is there screen calibration option is there screen refresh rate is by default set to 90 hertz i think it's not quite 90 hertz of course because this display does not support 90 hertz but by default it is selected to 90 hertz i'm not going to change that it may f up something night mode is there and you can turn it on to make the display yellowish and we have the reading mode if you want the display to be gray or something video enhancer option is there this makes the display a little bit vibrant i guess and we have the ambient display option you can have this lift up display and new notification option so they are great and the status bar option is there we have the battery style you can change it to battery bar battery circle etc show battery percentage and the network traffic is there icon manager is there so you can have the headset bluetooth etc icons turn on and off however you want and we have the screen saver option then we have the auto rotate screen option now let's go to the security and here we do get the face unlock let's go to the face unlock let me try to enter the pin now here i will click on add face data now click on next allow So the adding phase is done now let's just try to swipe up to unlock auto unlock once the screen is on i'll select this so that i can show you guys so right now let's just test this like unlocking so yeah the face unlock actually worked if you have noticed it let me show you again as you can see the face unlock works amazingly well so that was pretty much it about the impressions of my OnePlus 7 Pro's Oxygen OS on my Redmi Note 5 Pro. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.